words about each re retainer? What do you think about them? Why are you wearing the appliances? Uh, no why. You don't know why. To make your jaws bigger, right? And to make your teeth straighter. Yeah. And we could avoid having to extract teeth like they used to do back in the Middle Ages. And this one is very cute too. So you won't lose any bone. And what are you watching today? Tinkerbell. Why do you like Tinkerbell? Because my a friend and uh, because my friend's dad made it. Wow, what's his name? Mark Ellis. Wow. Yeah, that's absolutely and, and true. my friend and, and my hey, friend. Dad. Hey. <laughs> and my friend and my friend is a boy. Is I mean a girl. Your well, your friend is a girl. You say a girl made Tinkerbell. And um, there uh, there's a, a Mark Ellis's daughter is a girl. Oh, I see. So Mark Ellis's daughter, the guy who made Tinkerbell. Hey Henry, thanks for telling us. You can put your retainers in now if you want to show us how how adept you are at putting them in there. They're like fingers on his hand. He's so used to them. Henry, you're in good shape. Show shape me your teeth. Let me see how straight your teeth are. Smile. Smile. Yeah, I can see. Wow, good job. Those are segmental braces. No more heading or overbite for you. All right. Fast and go. Fast <laughs> What? Wait, oh, how do you get there so quick? He's a blur. How did you get there so quick? Now, wait, now, how did you get these powers again? But, but when I was a baby, I drank some red juice. Oh. You did. Where do you get this red juice? Can we have some too? I'd like, to know who, I'd like to know who's giving you the red juice. <laughs> Hey, is that why you like? Is that why you like the color red? Let me see those red braces. Red. Can you stop for a second, Flynn? Pause. Now smile. Well, they are red. Always is that giving red. you power? Always yeah. Oh. Is it like it's red? It's feeding off of the red. What did you get? A rubber duck. So you like? What's your favorite superhero again? Batman. Batman. Do you have any Batman stuff at home? Oh, yes. Yeah? Well, I'll look for some for you, okay? You just saw some video clips of this wonderful young boy, Henry, during some of his routine orthodontic appointments. Henry has autism. What we like to emphasize in this video is our relationship with him and with his wonderful parents. We were actually amazed how the selfless involvement and dedication of the parents had led Henry into becoming so receptive and tolerant to his surroundings, which ultimately led to our success in treating him. As the incidence of autism and its wide spectrum range grows, more and more dentists will have to face this challenge in dealing with that growing segment of the young population. Most routine dental treatment in these kids can be easily accomplished under sedation. But when it comes down to jaw orthopedics and braces, treatment, if at all possible, has to be tailored around their behavior and acceptance threshold. Two years ago, we started treatment on Henry. Before we began, we had to gauge his ability to accept treatment. His parents were of invaluable help, and from them, we had to learn every little detail of Henry's behavioral idiosyncrasies as far as they applied to the dental setting. For example, a basic rule is not to touch the child without warning and generally keep physical contact at a minimum. In explaining dental steps and procedures, one has to be very repetitive and direct. We found out what cartoons he likes and made sure it was running on the overhead screen even before the child walked into the room. He did not like any bright lights shining into his face nor any other visual or auditory surprises. One thing that always helps with breaking the barrier with children is role reversal. Many times we switch places and the child becomes the dentist. It becomes a fun experience and they feel more in control of the situation. Every step we took, we explained and rehearsed. We had to make a separate YouTube video on how we take an impression on another child just for him to watch at home before coming to his appointment. To explain the objective of Henry's jaw orthopedic treatment, it is important to remind ourselves that 80% of the jaws complete their growth by age 10. The rapid growth phase during which actual bone growth can be modified or accelerated occurs during those critical years. Therefore, the earlier we intervene with arc development, the better results we achieve. This photograph shows the upper jaw model of a child at age 5 and also at age 16. It is amazing how the jaws grow at such a spectacular rate. 
when we do not achieve a large jawbone foundation for all the teeth to fit during the rapid growth phase, that is between ages 7 and 10, it becomes much harder to align all teeth with braces after age 13. At 8, Henry had a narrow arch with baby molars in the back but permanent incisors in the front. Our prime objective is to develop the upper and lower arches and to align the upper incisors. We will demonstrate a similar case here. There are many signs that warn us of an arch size deficiency. This case demonstrates one of those signs, namely the lateral incisors rotated due to lack of space. In this case, removable appliances were used to develop the arches. As the midline screw is activated over a course of six months, the appliance grows and motivates the jawbone to grow in response. We see the result of this therapy here. Ample space for all the permanent teeth, which by now have replaced all the baby teeth, all arranged in a beautiful Roman arch. Coming back to Henry's case, we placed braces on his upper incisors only. These are called segmental braces, and their purpose is, as demonstrated here in another case, to align the upper incisors and their roots while the arches are being developed. If all goes well, many times full braces may be avoided. Our conclusion is that even with children with challenging conditions, simple steps can be taken to achieve a result that can be life-changing. With some behavioral management and patience and parental cooperation, a case like Henry becomes not only an accomplishment, but also fun for both dentist, parent, and child.